Spe I, actually, okay. Speaking of karma. Karma is my boyfriend. Have you guys. Shut the f not, I'm not talking about I love Taylor Swift. Have you guys seen uh, My Name is Earl? Yes. I've never even heard of that. Bruh. You don't know not, uh, the, the guy that played. Alvin uh, in the chip. No, no, no uh, Alvin, Dave, Dave, Dave Seville yeah. in Alvin and the Chipmunks. He goes, he's Alvin! also his syndrome in The Incredibles. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, nah, okay, that I don't know. I never that knew that. I, I know. I was like, I was like is that on. Jason fucking <laughs> Lee? Okay, wait, hold on. I, I have you seen his skating? I, I have a thing. Hold on, I have a thing written down. So, notoriously a good skater. Jason Lee, who uh, people our age, if you were born in the early 2000s, you probably know him as Dave Seville from. Alvin and the Chipmunks. If Alvin! You yeah, thank you, Tully. If you were born in the 90s or earlier, you probably know him as Earl from the show My Name is Earl, which uh, was cancelled in season four, which was <coughs> stolen from us. <laughs> but what you probably don't know about him is that he was homeless for, like, what, the majority of the 80s, and he invented... Majority of his skating career. Yeah, he, he was, was a skater. Homeless. and He was, he, like, living in a van or just living yeah, on the street. Yeah, he was on the streets, and he would skate for food, and he is actually credited with inventing the 360 flip, which is, like, you you do a 360 and it flips the skateboard. I actually didn't know that. He, he invented I've only, that. I've only he seen didn't him in skate bags. He didn't technically invent it, but the guy who did invent it technically was, like, I credit him with popularizing it completely because I, I I like sort of made it but he was the reason that people do it and that was insane to find out because like I, I only knew him as Alvin and then I watched My Name is Earl and I I watched an interview with him recently and he was talking about how My Name is Earl got cancelled and it broke my <coughs> heart to see that it that it just got it's weird that some shows get just they just get randomly cancelled like they don't. They don't get a satisfying ending. They don't get anything. Like sometimes it's just hey, season four, wrap, and then there's no fifth season. And I think that's <coughs> up, honestly. That's a lot of shows don't get what they deserve, and a lot of shows get a lot more than they deserve. <laughs> Looking at you, Modern Family. What's a show that you guys don't like that everyone loves? Um. Don't say Family. I <laughs> like Family Guy. <laughs> What's okay? I'm excluding animated shows because I think that. That's a different ballpark. I want to say live action. What's like a, a live action show that you hate? That you I hate? hate? Yeah. How I Met Your Mother. Bro oh. How I Met Your Mother or Dude, Friends. I think we're beefing now because How I Met Your Mother is one I, of my favorites. Look, I probably have a bad experience with How I Met Your Mother because I did knew someone that loved it and they introduced me to it and then they fucked me over. Actually, it's actually wait. I have the same story. The friend, the friend that introduced me to it ended up being a fucking horrible person. But generally, it was sort of bad. It's, it's, it's got that same vibe as uh, how you uh, fucking Seinfeld. I think personally, it's just I'm purely nostalgic for it. I think, but it's carried. I, it's I, carried by Neil I Patrick Harris. I would prefer Harris. to watch How I Met Your Mother rather than uh, Friends. Friends. I I hate Friends so yeah. much. I Dude, can't we stand go to, it. We could go. We should go to the Melbourne pop up and go to and, all and that. shout at people, <laughs> <laughs> can't call people. Go, you know, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> You like the this show? <coughs> Fucking pansy? Fuck you. Tully's gonna go piss. Have fun. Fucking, we should go spit on people at it. That'd be funny. <laughs> what's uh? What's your like hatred to show that you don't like, Sam? I do you have what? Okay, you know it doesn't even have to be like oh what is the most? It's like what is just a show that you hate? Look that I, you think everyone likes. I least. don't. I I don't really have anything that's specific. Okay. I don't. I am not a fan of Friends or Seinfeld or any of that. But that's like True. that's not interesting. That's kind of yeah. There's that's nothing. A, that's to, a there's nothing to talk about point. there because it's just you either love it or you hate it. They're just it. not very good. Yeah. They're kind of boring. I don't. They're classics. Like but yeah, it same mean with, you have to like them. I they haven't aged well. I guess the only one that's at least new for that is I've seen a lot of shit from uh, Young Sheldon. I've seen a lot of clips of that, yeah. and it all look, just looks it's bad. Young Sheldon is a weird... Because I... Okay, The Big Bang Theory is a complicated it's one. It's a weird idea for a show. A lot of people hate The Big Bang Theory. I love it because of nostalgia, I think, and I'm pretty sure that's the only reason. Probably. I watched Young Sheldon, or at least, like, I watched, like, the first couple seasons, and I expected... I only watched it recently. I expected to hate it, but I think I ended up liking it more than The Big Bang Theory. Because it's shot better. It's not a multi-cam sitcom. It's like sort of freeform. It's 
Yeah, it's like it's shot really well. It's uh, like the acting is good. Like there's a lot of really good stuff about it. But I think the problem is just like the core concept. It's so it's yeah. The a strange the problem I think thing. a big problem with it is why does it exist? Yeah, it's like we didn't need to see this. It it makes it weak. Cause then it's also th the problem with making like a prequel show. You have to get everything right. Because yeah. otherwise you watch the main show and it's like, wait, but how did how'd that happen in the prequel if Yeah, everything this I see from it, I get a bunch of like, fucking mm. news articles being like, um, plot hole in uh, uh it's a blah, BuzzFeed blah, blah. article. Top yeah. ten inconsistencies in Between season five, episode young three of Young and Sheldon and the Big Bang, Big Bang Theory. Theory. And it's like Indiana fuck? Jones. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, now that's ba, what I hate. That's what I fucking hate Indiana Jones. And I don't really? because actually I originally I remember really liking the show as the movie as a kid. Mm -hmm. I my brother especially loved it, but we like, loved the movie. A lot of it didn't age well. Uh, here's the thing: Indiana Jones, the character, is fully admits and is fine with having a child in the first movie. See, you say that you've said. I think that's like the third time I've heard you say that. Oh yeah. I watched it when I was a kid. I watched it uh, last year at some point and. I don't remember that at all. And so every time you so, say that, I'm like, what? So you know Miriam, like the love interest for the first movie? in Yes, like, yeah. yeah. She comes back in like the So remember how they well. ha they talk about how they had a relationship uh, in the past oh. when he was her teacher and he, oh, he, he was her shit. teacher. So yeah, he was her teacher and they like knew each other and had a relationship and they mentioned that they had sex. And she was also underage at the time i think she's like in Canada, oh like she so was like it was 16. it was um statutory yeah so, so like she was 16 and they had yeah, a relationship yeah. and she talks about how like you knew it was wrong and i let you but i in the, and now i regret it and he's like eh, what, what happened happened i'm harrison ford um and that is see i love harrison ford harrison ford is great he's and it's not against him but, for taking that yeah, role because it like, was a good role for him especially at the time it wouldn't have been it would have been very different whereas now it's like but like it's still definitely uh, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. That, cause that's sort of, those sorts of social relationships weren't, like that sort of shit wasn't recognized in I can't wait for, I can't wait whatever. for Europeans to be like, um, it's just a social, well, it's a actually, cultural difference. You don't it's understand. A cultural difference. Actually, uh, where I live, uh, the age of consent is actually, uh, like six months. It's actually when you, uh, in the womb, you're allowed to fuck a child and it's like, doesn't make it doesn't make it less weird. It's like it's not like, moral just because just because something's legal doesn't yeah. mean it's moral. <laughs> yeah, it's like just because it's legal. When you have mean to when okay. you have to justify that it's legal, that's yeah. when. Uh, as man. soon as you're like, as soon as you're up in arms about it, it's like maybe you wouldn't have to be. Yeah, if you have to try and if, if you feel the need to convince people that it's okay, it's like maybe probably not. Maybe it's not okay. Don't quote me on that. That could probably be applied to a lot of uh, like civil rights stuff, and I don't want to be involved in, in that sort of thing. But in this case, it's weird. It's don't, yeah. Don't uh, fuck kids. That's all I can. That's that's our message. Surely there's nothing controversial. Uh, they're fucking it's the internet. They're pro they're, there's all there's always something controversial. They're always it. Like you can't. That's the uh, that's kind of the thing I hate about what the internet is in sort of the modern day. It's kind of always been like this, but it especially feels like now. Now that every platform is like integrated with one another, like everything is controversial. Even the stuff that isn't. It's like, yeah, if someone like says a racial slur, you're allowed to be mad at that. That's I think that's completely yeah, that's, fine that's cool. to be offended by something that uh, and there's things where it's like it's debatable whether it's offensive or not. It's like that's okay. Yeah. Like the you like like critiquing certain older movies and shows and it's like that it's like things that it's not concrete, it's not black and white, it's like grey. It's like, Oh yeah, I understand why you know, you'd be offended by this thing. But then there's some shit where it's like, can you just shut the fuck up? Like, what are you talking about? No one cares. Like, it's always the really hyper-specific shit. I wish I could... I'm trying to think of one, like, off the top of my head. But, like, sometimes it's just... Like, 90% of the time it feels like people uh, want to be offended by something. I mean... Not because they... Yeah. Not because it's, like, an actual social issue. Because in that case, it's completely different. But... Sometimes it's like, like, it's, it's all, okay, it's always Twitter. Like, someone will say something, they'll be, it's literally that fucking, what was that tweet that was like, it was like, someone was talking about the state of Twitter, and it's like, someone could be like, I don't, 
they'll, they'll be like, I like the color red, and then someone will respond and be like, Oh, so you hate the color blue? Yeah, it's literally. like no, it's a different. That's a different fucking topic. Hey, Family Guy, you're lucky I got a manicotti in the oven. What are these graphics? Wait. What the fuck? That was insane. Beat your brains into a bolognese. That's, that's two how kinds of uh, fuck. Hold on. That's how angry I am. A hey, Family Guy. You um, gotta let it. Yeah, fuck. I just, I just realized we never finished the superpowers question. Yours was singing. You, you'd want to have a good singing. Yeah. Mine was stop time. <laughs> was yours? yours was stop time. <laughs> Thank you, Tully. Um, mine would probably be the ability to change matter. Like, cause you know how every Damn. that's specific. All the matter. Okay, I'm thinking of it on like a chemical level, like like periodic table shit. Everything is and what everything. what would we do with this power, right? So think of it this way. Everything is everything Make based on, you know, protons and electrons and shit like that. And elements like, elements are based on how many... Is it how many uh, protons? Or, no, how many neutrons? No, it's how many electrons, I think, like, defines their number on the periodic table and their atomic weight. And so different I'd elements have cool. different things. So okay. imagine we would never have to worry about... Uh, resources because we could just alter I could just alter basic resources we have to make more st- like you could turn uh, different things like you turn air into gold right and like air into water so are we Why saying could have these basic resources he could efficiently turn maybe like if you think about it water into Family Guy episodes I could <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to. I just want to okay, make when, something. When, when Family Guy episodes are an element on the periodic table, yeah, you can ask me to do that. It already is. I just want to. I just, wanna, I just Family Guy. <laughs> I would just like to make something clear, just for the video. Yeah. So, uh, if we could have any power that we choose, Tully would be able to sing better. I would no, want no, to. No, no, no. Uh, uh, yes, Ryan would want to make have make every pe- oh, make oh, the world so. better, and I would want to steal things. That's okay. Pretty, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to act like this thing wouldn't also have personal gain for me because I could charge anything for it and any nation would buy it. They'd be like, you can make us gold? Please. If I had, if I could have I'd a like, superpower, yeah. I would put and sex I can, in Fortnite. Because then I can, I can lobby and be like, oh, I can just make you guys valid. gold hey, if you want to give me money. I, I get you, bro. He, I can, he gets it. I get, to, I get to create how much of any element yeah, but, but, is but, on but, 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 Yeah, but, but sex in Fortnite. If you could, if you could put, if you sex, could put in Fortnite, sex in Fortnite, you couldn't. It's only see, a superpower. That's not a superpower, though. You could do that yeah, in real life. You could. It is, though. Yeah, but what if I could make that real Fortnite? Make it officially. Make it official. Sex and Fortnite. <laughs> it's official. You go into you update. You're like, oh, new Fortnite update. Fuck. Fortnite battle yeah. pass. What but the it's just fuck? Sex. All he's Don't updating put this is in Fortnite. I okay. No, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Shut the fuck up. You're so fuck. You know what? I think the worst superpower would probably be. Uh, Maybe, being probably able uh, to uh, your turn your hair into spaghetti. No, that's fucking. Probably awesome. fucking uh, your mom. Mind. I think it would be. Mind reading. I th- I that would be pretty bad. Being able to just be Probably having like to read everyone's mind would be real bad. Yeah. I have one that's worse, in my opinion. What? Uh, in uh, immortality. Uh, I that's kind of I that's that's too like yeah, general. That's, who wants to live forever? That I want to die by at least I'm it's like, 70, 60. It's no, like, you're right, it is bad, but I feel like that's like everyone's, like, immortality sucks. It's like, yeah, that's not a new take. Imagine, I mean, I like living, imagine living in a. Involuntary nursing mind home reading isn't for that like common. Oh, shit. 30 okay. years straight, and then you die. Okay, the thing about immortality is it. People just say immortality would like suck. It's like, would it be like you grow up to your prime and then that's where it stops and you stay that way forever? Or you just keep getting older but you are kept Either alive? way would be worse. Because be otherwise bad. you just turn to dust. I mean, either way would be bad though, is the thing. But one is better, obviously. One is, well... Being kept in your I, prime is better uh, than being like it. Because even old people who aren't immortal want to die. When you're like 80, it's like, I don't want to be... Like, so, I've talked to so many elderly people at fucking like nursing homes when I was younger as like a kid on school trips to like nursing home because we do that for some reason and they would say the weirdest shit that I didn't understand and it's like once you get to that age life isn't like it's not enjoyable at all because you're like basically beating your heart voluntarily yeah. you've got machines running your shit oh definitely take all these medications you can't eat anything you can't smoke you can't drink like, you can't even shave. Like, it's just... You have someone else wiping your ass for you. You can't control your 
bowel movements, like that sucks. But if you're in your prime, then it's like at least I'm you know healthy. Yeah, but then everyone you know is uh, gonna die. Yeah, I think gonna... I think that's like the that's like the vampire thing. It's like vampire, you can live forever, but you know you don't get to the person you love will always die, and your family members will all die. Which, yeah, that sucks. And that's... but I think mind reading is worse than that to me because oh actually. Okay, I don't know if it's worse, but I do think it's it would be it's horrible. It's definitely bad. Because people are horrible. Like, people oh, suck. And not even it's not even the people suck. It's just that you can't, a lot of the time you can't control your thoughts. That's, no, that's, what, your thoughts that's what I mean. Like, in like uh, stream of consciousness level, people are horrid. Because yes. you don't control what you're thinking. It's just like, you can literally think anything at any moment. And you don't get to, like, thoughts, you don't, you don't, be like, okay, I'm going to have a thought right now. It just happens. You just are suddenly thinking about something. And it's like, I don't want to... Like, you're suddenly thinking about horrible, horrible stuff. And it's like, I don't want to... Fucking... Oh, oh, what a legend. You're such a piece of shit, I'm Tully. not. No, I just fucking tipped because I had it on here rather than there. My bad, bro. I'm going to stand up. This motherfucker just spilled, like, an entire beer on my fucking couch. This is this on is on your couch and your carpet and some of the wires. But and that's blanket. Okay. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. This is the second time that he spilled a beer tonight, but the first time he only did it a little and he's like, "No, nah, it's fine, man. It's all good, bro. It's not it's not that bad." Um Yep. Yep. I bet I bet it was Tully. <laughs> Tully, he's <laughs> It was totally a little Budweiser. spill here. It was a little Budweiser, and I, si- I spilled a little bit on the fucking carpet. <laughs> and the and couch. I felt bad about it. <laughs> and you oh, rubbed it in with your foot. No, most of it was on my pants and the fucking floor rather than the couch. See, Tully, I'm going to cut him off because Tully's forgetting. This one is really bad. He's forgetting that I'm sober, and I watched him both times, and I saw exactly what happened, this and he was drunk both times. This, this second time is worse. This I will say that. Fucker. Yeah, he's right about that. That is true. Oh. It's, an auntie. it's by Auntie Jacks and it smells putrid. Yeah. The Budweiser the does ale. not smell. That's true. The Budweiser. Oh. But I also spill. I spill all of the pale ale. Yeah, not the, the whole cup. I spilled about half and a bit of the Budweiser. This is the whole fuck. This is all the can. I am. I don't this even is have. probably good. To tell Tully to go home, even though he doesn't have a ride home, but he probably should stop drinking, even though he won't. Closing time. Yeah, when we want to finish last this. Call look, for look, alcohol. Look, 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 look. Closing so finish your whiskey. Ooh, Spuggles, power beer. Up. Um. Yeah. How long have we been filming for? For uh, it's I'm been saying. like. It's like it's only been like an hour. Okay. This. We this, started at about 1.30. This so. sucked. This was terrible. This was not good. And all of I love drugs, drugs. And Tully being fucking plastered, so half the time he oh, didn't make any oh. sense. Like, half I of the shit. Worse, I was worse at the, at the end of a soccer time. I did place two, did Yeah, but that was a groggy game, so, like, that was... Just w- filming a fucking groggy game. Yeah, a, that's I the... Half a bottle that's the point. Did, so. That's the point. Is that that's a groggy I, game, I, and then the you kept drinking. What do you say? That vi- that okay. That video went out months ago. What do you? I don't know what your point is here. That video was great. Uh, I didn't vomit at the end of because Brian put a cameo of the, me vomiting at the end <laughs> of the video. Talking? And that's I not what I'm talking about. That. What are you saying? Because I got more fucked up on the decoms quest than I. Did. Yeah, but the problem is that this isn't the groggy game series, <laughs> so we're no, not supposed to be drunk for the. Games. I'm justifying that. <laughs> I I am probably more drunk. Tully. Tully, Tully, I think Sam would agree with me in this regard. You wouldn't be you wouldn't be drunk if you had stopped drinking after the Family Guy video was done. But I didn't stop drinking after the Diddy Kong's quest. Either. Yeah, because we didn't film anything after we that. Did, we filmed it on your iPhone. And we kept that wasn't a vi- that was a part of the same th- Tully. That Tully. was a part of the same video. Tully. That was Tully. a part of the same video. You need video. to understand that nothing you're saying is actually relevant. You are not making any sense. What do you mean? Tully. It's not relevant. It, it has no effect on because you're the saying outcome at all. You filmed on your phone. It was the same video, though. It was not a different video. Oh, fuck, yeah. It was still Diddy Kong. Yeah, same night, though. Fuck you. 
Yeah. <laughs> we had no, we had no. Uh, uh, no, Tully, that's what I don't. Okay, that's what makes it worse because you knew this time. We knew we were doing the power hour, and you kept drinking, so it actually yeah, made it, you it more. Again, that's not that what. No one told you to do that. You did that on your own. No, even so, it's not that. It's the fact that you would have sobered up if you stopped drinking after we filmed the Family Guy video. I had technically one beer because I spilled the second one. <laughs> that's. I had one beer after filming. Tully, you've had those beers while we filmed this video, but before we started filming, you were still drinking. <laughs> You're saying two wines, two, two bottles, bottles of, wine, of wine, yeah, and That's all of your beers, all of your Budweiser. Oh, this, uh, this is a good place to end this uh, power hour. No, nah, this is actually pretty good. This is pretty funny. I thought it was good. Um, <laughs> take them. I don't no, want. I them. Yes, yes, I don't want them. I suck. I hate Jim Beams. Oh, uh, I. Thank you, everybody. This has yeah, been Spoggles Power that's Hour. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe. Go watch the other videos that are probably Listen to Vulture! I'm Ozzy Osbourne. I'm listening to Vulture. Thank you, Tully. Um, uh, have a good night. You probably weren't paying attention for... because that's the whole point of this series yeah. anyway. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.